For Samir Samat, billions of users interact with the technology he helps bring to life. Shalini Gogolpai plays a prominent role in shaping the way we access media. I'm at CES to get their points of view on topics of the moment. What multi-device experiences do you think are most interesting for people to pay attention to? TikTok is now going to support Cast. Uh, oh. <laughs> you can take that dance you're trying to learn and put it on the big screen in the living room. And the other thing is cars. We've made a ton of improvements to Android Auto with EVs. The car will be able to tell Android Auto how much battery it has left so that when you use Google Maps, it can give you the best route, tell you how much range you'll have when you get there, and also places to top up like along the way if you need that. People don't want, really want to go to apps, and really that was the underlying insight even when we launched Google TV. When you get onto TV, you can get to your content as fast as possible. The other one that we are announcing is FastPair. As soon as you open your headphones, the TV kind of understands that you probably want to listen to the next show, so we'll automatically connect. AI was the buzz term of 2023. What just feels different about 2024 within the industry? I think AI is at its best when it gets kind of beyond the buzz term and it really turns into something that people understand, what does it help me do? And I think we're starting to really see some awesome applications of that. I do think AI can be kind of a daunting thing. We want to be bold about what we do with AI, but we also want to be really responsive. There is a sense of like, well, can generative AI actually produce the entire content itself. I think computers will help make it better, faster, recommend it in more seamless manners. But I think that in the end, the magic of stories is gonna come from humans and creative minds. That's important for us to always remember.